All right, day three. How are we going to beat the coronavirus for small business owners? Well, the way we're going to do it is we are going to come together. So one thing I thought about pretty deeply today, and then I'm putting out on blast tomorrow to everybody that I see online, all my, uh, my business partners, my clients, uh, people that I love and respect is as a community and for people that have built their businesses, we depend on each other and coming together and the commerce and the value that we can give to each other, right? So my friends that own restaurants and bakeries, right? They cook food um, in a beautiful way. It is their passion and their greatest desire so that they can get, create an experience for us, the customer, those that want to come and dine there. When we want to take some food, we want to bring it with us. And their staff, their rent, um, all, all the farmers that depend on them to buy their goods, that exchange of goods depends on us, the individual, the customers. And now is not the time to hoard our resources and time. It is not the time to lock ourselves away by ourselves in our homes for weeks on a time. Now is the time to give business to those around us to support those small businesses. And so my ask to you and my call is let's make Friday the 13th, the day that we all step out and we give business to those that depend on us. That might mean you buy a coffee at the, call, the small coffee stand. That might mean that you buy some to-go food from a local small restaurant and you bring it to your team. It could be as simple as that. If you want to, you work with people and you create experiences together, maybe it's things you can do together. But we, we can do this. And then after Friday the, tur <laughs> Friday the 13th, let's do it on the 14th and let's do it on the 15th. You see, we all live in, a, in a, an integrated world, an economy. You and I are in this together, which means that if I help you, that allows you to help my neighbor whose daughter depends on this, who, and this whole system integrates back together. And if we can do this, if we invest in each other now, then we can all come through in a healthy and even level and then grow to success together. So if you're running a business, encourage your team to connect and give their time, their dollars to uh, other local businesses. And if you have been refraining from going out uh, because you're scared, you can order food to go. You can pay that membership that you maybe haven't gone to in two weeks because you're worried, but you're still helping, right? Because that, that gym, that office, that production team, right? By you stepping in up and helping them, they'll be able to give you more value in the future. And I can't think of anything better than not only the respect and love from my customers, but also the ability as a customer to maybe give back where I think maybe the scales are just a tipped a little bit in my favor in some of these relationships. And I think that's the best way for us to take advantage of this, to show kindness, uh, have empathy for what they have built and what they're trying to continue and sustain. And we can do this together. There's more small business owners, more entrepreneurs in the world than anything else. And it is completely in our control. And if you are honestly sick, you're really sick, stay home. Get on the internet and let us know we can help you. We're, here to, we're all here together. If you're sick or you're healthy. And if you're healthy, enjoy it. And let's help all so we all can be healthy and happy. And that's it. That's today's focus and what I'm going to push forward over the next couple days so that we can all sustain 
to be happy and healthy. That's it. Love you.